Live, man! Live! Oh god, you're creepy. We're gonna make you live there, buddy! Wait! I no, no, I don't want to trade with you! We we need to save him! No! <laughs> you're so, so sorry! <laughs> Oh, oh hi guys. Welcome to the Von Doom texture pack, but that's not what I'm trying to focus on. It's your mods to you. Necromancy mod, that's right. But this is the best mod pack to show it in. I mean, texture pack, come on. It's beautiful. This stuff in, in your normal texture pack, I'll just tell you right now, without showing you, it's very plain and boring because I'm showing you an evil Frankenstein mod that is so much fun and it's evolved a lot over uh, the year I would say since it came out and there's lots of new changes and new ways to craft everything But also lots of cute things too like this that I want to show off. Yay! It's all bears. It's like, uh, this is actually an Easter egg and I'll uh, annotate below if you guys want to know how to make it But here you go. It's a little bear <laughs> So you can set them in different stances of so defending sitting walking and they kind of act just like cats Let's get a a zombie here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Get him. Get. Man, he looks good. Get him. Okay, wait. Okay. Get. See? He just runs. Wait a minute. What are you? What's on your back? Go get him. Go. You. There you go. Now you're running after him. That's my little zombie rabbit. My little zombie rabbit. So uh, this whole mod is all about uh, making your own creatures, essentially, and having a lot of fun doing Okay, I guess I'll just make my own door. You can just keep banging on that one, don't worry. <laughs> Love this texture pack. So uh, I'm gonna basically show you how to get to the ultimate goal, which is to make an altar and make a bunch of freakish things that will help defend you, essentially. And uh, also, here's my little altar room. As you guys saw, you saw Frank. Frank may or may not make it. I'm sorry. Let's see if he will make it. I don't, oh, oh, sorry. That was OptiFine. Don't mind that. Minion, craft thy dock. What? Oh, there he is. Yay! So I'm essentially going to show you how to do this. That is a Enderman head, zombie arms, Enderman body, and and spider legs. Get moving. Get out of here. So yeah, he'll follow you. You can right-click him again. Sit. Walk. Yay! And they'll defend and fight people off. But you also have these. These are the necromancer villagers which will trade you. Brains trade? I'm just not sure. <laughs> but uh, so this is your main goal though. Mix and match everything that you want. Jeez, you guys have been breeding a lot. What is wrong with you guys? They also don't disappear until you right click. This is the altar. See? Boom. Now I'm also in creative mode. So that's the reason why he's, well, that's just weird. He's hovering. But this is your main goal here, is to make this, and then make your own thing. So I'll go ahead and show you now how to go about and make all this awesome, and even sew together all these weird body parts. That's right, that's that's how you get about making everything that you want. So first up is the altar stuff, and these blood vials, and souls. Ah, fresh light. This is actually very smoggy, in fact. Kind of odd. So let's go, oh, you followed me. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. Hopefully you'll defend me here. So I'll go ahead and get to all this here in a bit, but your main base things that you want is those blood vials and the souls. So how do you go about doing that? Well, first of all, the blood vials are very simple to get. So you just get bone meal, and uh, this is bone meal in this texture pack, and uh, just throw it in there, and then you get your bone needle. So this makes you a doctor. This makes you a professional. And how to do everything in the arts of, of doctoring, or just stealing blood from little chickens. Wait, wait, oh, sorry, sorry. Bottle, there you go, sorry, I forgot we need a place to put it. I'm not gonna give it to you, jeez, you freak of nature. Here you go, okay, pig time, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you're putting it in my inventory, game mode zero. I think you are, yep, you were. There's jars of blood though, yay. So now the next thing is though, how do you get souls from these animals? Well, game mode one. Let's go ahead and make some souls. Now souls are uh, just as simple in fact, because souls, all you need to do is make this little utensil here with a piece of obsidian. You got your iron hoe, a stick, and the blood vial. And that makes this a blood scythe. Now, this is what you need. Very, very just an odd tool to steal a soul, but here you go. Oh wait, let's make some room for you, Mr. Chicken. There you go, little chicken soul. Ready for the chicken soul? Nom, 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 nom. 
Wait a minute, wait. Oh, I picked up the chicken meat and not the soul. Dang it. Okay, okay, okay. That's not gonna help us make Frankensteins. It will later on, possibly, though. Yeah. That, help. There, wait. You are not. You are seriously not dropping many souls. Grr. Just give me a soul, you heartless beast. Okay. So I hate you all. Oh, wait a minute. I just thought about it again. Wait. Game mode zero. I'm glad you keep doing that to me. There you go. Souls in a jar. Yay. Now you got the two main things that you need. We'll go ahead and make the book. The book of the dead. This is how you're going to raise your beast that you want to create. So here guys go. Boom. This is the crafting method. Which up here you have leather. Then you have an ink sack. More leather. Uh, nether wart. Book. What else is really different? Leather again. Your blood. Yeah, pretty normal stuff. Chicken. Move. Behind here, we have the Necromonicon. And this is the Book of the Dead. This is how we're going to raise them. So the Necromonicon mixed with the blood, mixed with the souls. That will raise us. See? What, what was that? Somebody just dropped a... That was a muscle. We'll need things like that. So all these mobs drop things as well like that. But, uh, and that's how you go about sewing things together. But anyway, I'll get to that. Now, now that we have all of these things, we'll go ahead and make the altar. Now, the altar is very simple. You just take cobblestone and then normal planks of wood and then use your necromonicon. So, specifically the way you have to put it around is cobble. Get some cobblestone here. And then we'll get a normal plank of wood. And I'll replace the book. So, bink, bink and bink and that's the exact layout that you need so then necromonicon boom this is your altar so all your beasts and monsters will what are your your full eagle in it oh my god okay so uh up here though is now where you mix everything on the left side goes your blood and then on the right side goes your souls your jar of souls now everything in the middle this is where the magic happens. Now, I actually coincidentally have everything in my inventory already. So what you have to do is now make a sewing machine and sew together your beast. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. And this is your sewing machine. Very simple. You just got your iron ingots, your string in the middle, and your bone needle. And that makes this beautiful little weaving beast right here. And you have your own crafting method. Yeah, it's a huge crafting recipe that you have to make to sew the body parts of your beastly beast. Uh, thing that's gonna wish it died this is one crafting method here so you have the torso uh, torso template yeah this is one and then you put everything around it so here we have skin then we have bone and then we have muscle so that's the layout of it but here in the middle is gonna be what you want what mob item do you want so what kind of torso do you want to create do you want to create a spider torso well then what do spiders drop they drop string so then just put that in the middle and then that's gonna be your spider torso you'll make and the same goes with everything else. So if you want to make a creeper torso, then you just go put uh, gunpowder inside the middle. Now, as for the skin that goes on the outside, that's just simply uh, just basic leather right here. And then you throw it into the showing machine. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. And then we'll have skin that comes out. And of course, you need your bone needle here and your string. So now that we have our skin, you can go ahead and make your other items as well here. So these are, again, items that any mob drops here. So they drop brains, uh, kidneys, you know, whatever else. Uh, and then these are actually your spider eyes. So your head template will be the exact same thing. The outside is all your skin. Then you have your brain in the center and then your eyes right here. And then right here again is going to be whatever mob you want to create. So I want to create a spider. And there you go. And that's going to make your spider head. The same with everything else here. So then we have a leg template here. And uh, that's, that's kind of where gonads go, it would seem like. That's your leg. That's your muscle. And then, yeah, those go right there. So whatever you need in the middle, boom, bada, bing. Now, as for the actual crafting of it, I'll go ahead and show you an example here. So there you go. That's the recipe. And we'll just throw in anything that we want here. So we want a skeleton head. Boom, skeleton head. Uh, what else do what a creeper drops? Gunpowder, vice versa, all that stuff. Very simple, very basic. Just it gets a while, you know, it takes a while to get used to this, you know, just bigger recipe, but that's about it though. Now, as for blood, there is other ways to get blood other than from animals. You can go to the nether. Now, I didn't find any, so I got this image from the, uh, the forms here, and it's basically giant chalices buildings that they have in uh, just lava pools in the nether. So you can find these things just randomly spawned. If you're just... 
I, that's possibly the most inconvenient way to get blood, but hey, it's a way to do it if you happen to be going to the nether. Now let's go ahead and start building because that, this is what all this mod revolves around. You already saw all the basic of everything of how to create it. Now it gets into the detailed part though of creating whatever you want, which is these guys or, you know, whatever version you end up making. So there we go. We got our table just waiting right here. Now let's go ahead and make our beast. Let's try some... Uh, creeper legs. We have these body parts already made up. We got the ender torso. Oh, I do want to show you, uh, let's see, a spider torso. Yes. Uh, get a zombie arm in there. Get a skeleton arm. And then finally, the head. Uh, we'll just pick a zombie head here. So, I like it though, as you build it, it just kind of kind of mashes it together just makes no sense whatsoever now if you guys saw this mod before you'll know that the recipe making was actually made by using just those normal items so it was like using bones or string now you actually have to do the sewing aspect so just a little bit different that's about it though uh but now to make them come to life all you have to do is clear your inventory or clear your hand here hold shift and then right click and then hope he lives what did we pick oh yeah it was creeper legs was it so he's essentially a little puppy, but in this texture pack, it's kind of like a little, uh, a leaf walking mutt. Where are you going? Fine, just leave home. After I made you. No, actually, you probably just want to kill yourself. I don't blame you. <laughs> Please kill me. <laughs> it looks like he belongs to the horde. There's a little horde symbol on the back of him. Uh, so let's go ahead and try another one here. Uh, oh, and to clear it though, it should automatically... Oh, when you're not in, in game mode, it will automatically clear. Oh, yay! Welcome back. I'm glad you learned to love me. Now, what else shall we try here? Let's go ahead and try a... Uh, who, who's the best legs here? We got inner torso. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You do have a spider body. Yes. Now I can show you the saddling. That's right. You can saddle them. Get back here, buddy. Where'd you go? Did you go all the way up here again? Aha! Yes! <laughs> so now you can saddle them, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and that's the only way you can do it if, if you uh, have the, the spider body, and that's about it. Now, as for everything else, let's just try one more here. Let's get, uh, who are our arms here? We have skeleton arms. And who has, who's really tall and gangly? Um, yeah, we can use an ender torso with small legs. And then a head. Uh, who's head? I didn't make too many heads here. I just made Ender head. Actually, did, did the Enderman work? I mean, oh yeah, of course it did. I made him over there. But let's go ahead and, and make him wish he was never alive. Ah, oh, dang it! <laughs> ah, stupid creative mode. So there you guys go, though. Uh, that's the mod. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's uh, it's very simple. It's very it's just the basics of getting all these things down. God, you gotta love that painting. Uh, and that this is really just. The main thing that you have to make sure that you get right is the sewing part. Everything else, though, is just having fun with it, making freaks of nature, and all that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like below, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you more often than usual with your mods. And uh, for the Minecraft Monday Show and everything else. So, thanks for watching. Diamonds to you. I'm Bebop Vox, and happy Minecrafting. Meow!